Hi everyone, I'm Danny. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, please be sure to subscribe. And if you're returning, welcome to this week's episode. There are only six days until I arrive at the pageant. It's crazy for me to think about this entire year and all of the preparation and all of the time that I've had to go watch Miss USA and support Brooke there and go watch Miss Teen USA to support Elle, as well as share about my platform, Donate Life for organ donation. I fundraised for them. I attended a memorial walk in honor of my cousin Andrew and I've still been able to volunteer for some other organizations throughout the year. It's been a beautiful and wonderful year. I am looking forward to returning to the pageant and seeing some of the girls that I met last year which is going to be really great. I'm looking forward to seeing them because they were all really nice and then of course meeting new contestants and I think it's going to be a wonderful time. I can't wait to meet everyone because when you meet girls at a pageant, you really never know if one of them is going to just be your best friend. One of my best friends in the world, Brittany Payne, was a girl that I met at a pageant and her and I were sitting together in the dressing room backstage and we started talking and we just clicked and connected and ever since then she's been one of my closest friends. So I'm looking forward to meeting the rest of the girls at the pageant because you just never know who you're going to meet. I cannot believe that this is the last Road to Miss Montana USA video that I will be filming before I arrive at the pageant. <laughs> I'm so excited and as you can see I've been practicing some hair and makeup trying to work out any kinks before I arrive at the pageant. Also to make sure that I have all of my products because I will be doing my own hair and makeup for the pageant. Remember girls that if you are going to do your own hair and makeup for a pageant, make sure that you do a few hair and makeup run throughs to even out any of the kinks. You want to make sure that you have all of the products that you are going to need the day of the pageant as well as make sure that they're organized. That's something that I do is I set aside, okay I'm going to use this eyeshadow and this lip color and this blush and I make sure that's all together so then on the day of the pageant I don't freak out and I'm not searching through my makeup bag looking for everything. That makes things a lot easier. I am so fixed up today, but we're also so casual. I'm just filming in my robe. I love robes. Does anybody love robes? I could live in a robe. Last minute updates. Well, there's really not much to do now before the pageant. So I want to start so I would like to say thank you to all of the people who have made this possible for me. I don't want to forget anyone at the pageant and I want you all to know that I am thinking about you as well as all of you who have written nice notes and comments and letters to me and just have been encouraging me and supporting me and believing in me. That means everything. It's given me an extra boost of confidence before this pageant. I have to say thank you to Extensions by London. She created these beautiful hair extensions for me which I love because they give my hair just some extra fullness on stage so it's a little more wow when I'll be in my gown which I like and thank you to my evening gown sponsor dress and party Ohio for going above and beyond and getting me a custom couture designed gown just for me and I've never had that I've never been able to afford that that was the icing on the cake of this experience, just getting to wear a dress that was made specially for me. It's so unique and it just really fills my heart. And I know, I know it's just a dress, but it's about the way you feel in the dress. So I felt so fortunate and I cannot wait to show you guys my gown during pageant weekend as well as my interview outfit and my swimsuit. So my swimsuit and my evening gown are custom made and then my interview outfit is not custom, but I found it and it just made me feel really good about myself, so I love it and I'll be wearing that. Thank you to my friend Christine. If you guys watch this channel, you'll have seen her in my Miss USA blog. Vlog? Vlog? Miss USA vlog. She has been such a help in this process and so encouraging as well. And she's been somebody that I've been able to bounce ideas off for my resume and my branding. So that was really nice to have somebody who's done pageants, who coaches winners, and to be able to talk to her and send her drafts of my resume. 
for her and I to go back and forth and put together all of our ideas to make me feel really confident for that interview. And because of her, that's one of the reasons that I feel so strongly about my interview and what I'm going to share with the judges because I made sure that my resume and, and my branding and my practice, it's all going to combine into this nice little package and the judges are going to really be able to get to know who I am and get to know more about me and just huge thanks to Christine for that. Brother Joe's gonna be there. Girls, if you are a pageant girl, you have to know who Brother Joe is. So he's gonna be at the pageant again this year, which just warms my heart. I've competed in a lot of pageants and I feel like my friends and everybody was just over it and nobody comes to watch me or cheer for me anymore. <laughs> so it was such a surprise to have a few people come and attend the pageant this year and to be supportive. So I cannot wait for them. And let me think what else. I feel like there's so many people who are a part of all of this. Thank you for Shay Ann, one of my best friends ever. She created my images, my official headshot. Big thanks to Marquez Beauty. It's a wonderful eyelash brand and they make these silk stacked lashes which are so beautiful they look like mink lashes except no animals die which is wonderful if you want a discount on your purchase of lashes from them just type in danny27 and then you can get a discount i don't get any kickbacks for that but you guys would get a discount and they're amazing lashes so check those out i will be wearing those Big thanks, obviously, to Pageants Northwest and all of the sponsors of this pageant. There are too many for me to list right now, but if you follow my social media, you'll see all of them listed in my posts that have been leading up to the pageant. I'm so grateful for them because they're what makes this pageant happen. The people that are supporting the program and creating opportunities for young women, so I'm very, very grateful to them. And if I become Miss Montana, I am looking forward to working with all of those sponsors this year. I have lots of great ideas so far for how we can work together and collaborate. Aside from all of the thanks for everybody who has been a part of this journey, and obviously my family, my mom and my dad, who have encouraged me to go after this dream to compete at Miss USA and potentially be Miss USA. Big thanks to everybody. My heart is so full. I feel so confident and prepared. I am 100% ready for the job of Miss Montana USA, and my feelings on it right now are if the judges don't see that when I walk into the door, then there's literally nothing I could have done to have convinced them. It has to be a thing where they just don't like me as a person for some reason, and that would be the only reason that I wouldn't be able to be crowned Miss Montana USA. It's not for lack of preparation, and it wouldn't be for lack of qualifications. I wanna just encourage all the young women out there who have been first runner up like me or who've wanted to capture their dream title, I wanna encourage you to just do whatever you possibly can within your means to capture that title. And as long as you have prepared and done everything that you possibly could to be ready for that opportunity, then you will win during pageant weekend. And I don't mean win a crown, but I mean it'll be a successful weekend for you no matter what, because you know that at that time, at that place in your life that you were at your absolute best. Maybe not somebody else's best or maybe not a judge's idea of where you need to be, but you were at your best. And I think that that's what makes me really happy about my performances at pageants, win or lose, is that I know that whatever I show up with at a pageant, it was the best I could do at that time. That is something that I can be proud of and that if you take that same type of preparation and care while getting ready for a pageant, then that's something you can be proud of too. That is about it. The last thing I have to do is stop by Target and grab a couple things off my packing list, which you guys saw some of my packing list. And since then, I added some more items as I was packing and getting ready for the pageant. So I'm just gonna cross those last couple things off my list. Aside from that, I am ready to go. I have my routines, I have my poses, my resume is memorized. I know everything on that resume. I know what I wanna share with the judges and I've been practicing hair, makeup, walk, I've been practicing on stage questions so that can be stronger this year. I'm prepared 
prepared for political and current events questions, I feel like I can answer those confidently while still staying true to myself and expressing my own opinions. So I'm ready guys. I am ready and I cannot wait to give you guys updates. Make sure that you are following Danny Walker and Pageant Access on Instagram throughout the whole pageant weekend. I'm going to do my best to post updates. Unfortunately, the pageant is not live streamed. I'm so sorry, but I'm going to be doing my best to give you guys updates throughout the weekend and let you know how it goes. I've never felt more ready in my life. I feel a sense of peace. But please keep those prayers coming for me, guys. I always appreciate those. And of course, I appreciate all of your support. Thank you very much for joining me on this journey. And I will see you after the pageant.